Hi, Nancy Burt Priest here. Um, I have another card. This time, um, sometimes I do my own, sometimes I case them. Case can be copy and share everything or copy and selectively edit. And I selectively edited today. This card we're going to make um, is from the Gone Fishing. And I also use some of the sayings from Wildlife Wonder. Um, you could put... Um, I just put a happy birthday inside, but you could put um, happy retirement, happy Father's Day, congrats, whatever. Um, so Amy Kenders had this on her um, website, and she had it. Um, I used some of her ideas, and some I did my own thing. She had two of these little things, but I made this piece smaller. So two just didn't look right, so I only did one. So this little piece is from the designer series paper that goes with the Gone Fishing. And it is um, cut out with stylish shapes. So let's see if I can quickly find the Gone Fishing in my catalog. Tell you what page we're on. And of course it won't come up right away. Maybe, maybe it will. Um, it did. It is on page 78. And 79 of the 2023-2024 annual catalog. And it's got all this, you know, you can make a tackle box looking card, all sorts of things. So, and I like the seines, and I'll show you the fish part in a minute. Um, so what I did is I used mainly the designer series paper, which is something I cased from Amy. And I did like having this little saying behind there, this little stylish shape. Um, and then this is from the new nested essentials dies, which I really love. Um, so how did I make this card? Um, oh, I didn't show you the inside because I'm going to show you how to do those fish, which is kind of fun. So these are the two stamp sets I used and I used the designer series paper. So we're going to start. I did some pre-stamping, but we'll show you how to make it and we'll make one together. So I started out with Misty Moonlight, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So that's easy. Then... I used, I mean, you could use this side if you wanted. I just, I wanted to use this fish, so I didn't use that. And that, I don't know. I don't know what that looks like, but it's kind of neat. So um, I have my stamp and seal here. And I see my, I have one of my curly hairs there. Um, and I'm just going to adhere this. This is four by five and a quarter. Let's see, it's a little bit. That side's a little bit better. That side, for some reason, had something sticky or something on it. Um, so that just goes there. Easy peasy. Now, the next part is some more Misty Moonlight. This is three by four. So I, um, I use different measurements than she did. She had a different, you know, she had hers bigger. I wanted to make mine smaller because I wanted to use it in a lot of classes. So I wanted to have enough to prep for several. So this is three by four. And this is three and three quarter by two and three quarter. Just so it will um, easily go on top here. And if you wanted to use the brown, you could. You wouldn't have to use the fish. Um, so it really would be personally up to you. So that's the outside so far. Let me show you what we're going to do. I use the saying to a great guy and sending birthday wishes from um, Wildlife Wonder. And what I'm going to do with this is show you how I stamp the fish. If you look at the designer series paper, it's kind of outlined in blue. So you have a fish outline. I'm going to get my Knight of Navy ink pad here. And I'm going to ink that twice. And get two fish on there. Just, you know, you can write a little saying here, but you got a couple little decorative fish. So that is the outside of the fish. 
Now I wanted to put, I was kind of looking at that guy, it has a little greeny, I don't know, I really don't know fish from anything, but you know, I decided I wanted to have a little bit of a interesting cast on the inside. Um, so I'm using wild wheat, I'm stamping it off once, and if you can see, that's the inside part of the fish. And the part, I don't know if you can see this, I'm trying not to get my head in the camera, is I'm going to line up with that thin, and I'm going to kind of make sure it's all lined up as close as I can, and put it down, and it just gives it a little bit of inside part to it. Isn't that simple? But it's a great way to line it up. And it's not supposed to be perfect. And, you know, I've heard so many people dislike wild wheat. And at first it wasn't thrilling me either. And I'm using it a lot more than I thought I would. So, sending birthday wishes, which I stamped. You can see, oh, I love to show you that. People are like, oh, you probably never make a mistake. Well, here's a great example. Yes, I do. But I just turn the paper over and it's totally okay. Nobody has a problem with that. At least I don't. Um, okay, so now I've got my inside. And then what I'm gonna do, now you could do, is that like a fishing lure maybe or something? You could do that. I'm going to put that side down. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive. And I'm just gonna kind of line this, making sure that it doesn't go outside of the card. I don't mind if it goes out to the blue, but I don't want it to go outside so it'll fit in the envelope. Then I'm gonna pop this up. And when, you know, people are always like, how many pop dots do you put on? Well, if you're gonna send it in the mail, you don't want it to fall off. So I'd say more is better than less. That's just how I would say it. Um, so, you know, if you're gonna do pop dots, do pop dots, man. Um, so, I'm just lining it up on the top and putting it down. The other thing, which of course I forgot to bring over here, is, you know, I like all of our um, gems and dots and all sorts of stuff, but I gotta tell you, I particularly love these in color dots. They're gorgeous. I just think they're really pretty. So I cannot see where I put my take your pick tool. I think it's in a bag. I love to do that. Maybe I can pick it up with my fingers and stick it all sorts of places. Let's see, here we go. And this happens to be a wild wheat dot. And there you go. Simple using, I did use one die, but if you didn't want to, you could cut out a strip of DSP and just angle the ends if you are not a person that likes to use um, your die machine. And it's a very simple card, but it's nice because I'm trying to do better job of having mail cards for my stamp classes because often I don't. And so, you know, I love doing flower flowers and all that stuff, but it's fun to have mail cards. Now, I have a couple of things I want to chat with you about. Um, here is my information. Here is my host code. Um, if you want to go to my website, here's the May to June host code. Now, I wanted to share with you that um, I would love to have you um, as my customer. What does that mean? We would get catalogs for free from me. Um, I like to do all sorts of fun things for my customers. I send out, um, at the end of the stamping year, I have a big garage sale. I give it to my customers first. Lots of things um, that is a benefit to you. At least I'd like to think that way. So I'm hoping if you need any kind of supplies, I would love to be your demonstrator. So feel free um, to check out my website. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you, in the month of June, we happen to have a designer series paper sale off, 15% off between um, June 1st and June 30th. And it's a lot of the papers in the back of the catalog. 
So check it out. It's all on my website. You can order right there. And just, it'll ask you at one point to put the host code in and go for it. Um, everybody that orders in the month of um, June gets a, and of course I don't have those out either, um, a free package of gems from me. have to order, um, ooh, is it 40 $40, $30, $40? I better check that. Um, if you place a small order, um, you will get those for me. This is my birthday month, so I love to give away gifts on my birthday month. So um, please, these are the Tinsel pre-packed gems, and I would love to give them to you. Um, also, if you would like to get um, newsletters from me, tells you about online classes I do, tells you about any specials I do, all sorts of things, please email me and let me know, and I would love to add you to my email list. Um, if you do Facebook, I have a Facebook business page. I, I post things in both places on YouTube and, and Facebook. So please reach out. I'd love to be your demonstrator. I would also like to remind you to share. If you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. And please share with your stamping and crafting friends. I'm trying to build my channel and I'd love to have you help me. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks so much.